If you're on probation for a DWI or any other offense and you pick up a new DWI charge, or for that matter, a new criminal charge, it's not really possible to avoid a motion to revoke probation, but it is possible to resolve it where you don't have the probation revoked or where you don't face jail time or prison time on the underlying revocation charge. Anytime you're on probation for any offense, one of the first rules of probation is that you not pick up a new charge. So automatically, if you're rearrested for a new charge, the sheriff's office or the police department will notify the probation office. They will in turn notify the judge and let them know you've been charged again. If that happens, they will issue what's called an MTR. It's a motion to revoke probation, alleging that you violated the conditions of probation by being rearrested with something new. You will be arrested on the MTR. You can bond out and then be given a court date. And just like any new criminal charge, you have the right to contest the motion to revoke probation. You can actually um, plead to the court that the allegation isn't true or that you didn't violate probation. And one of the key things to remember is that if you have a motion to revoke probation filed because of a new charge, you have to be found guilty of the new charge before they can revoke you on the probation case. So it's not enough that you've been accused of a new crime. You have to be found guilty of the new crime before you can be revoked on the probation case. Mm -hmm.